Ayn Rand believed the only proper purpose of a government is to protect man's rights and castigated those who worshipped big government. Ayn Rand was the founder of a philosophy called Objectivism, which celebrates rational self-interest, laissez-faire capitalism and progress. She published a novel called Atlas Shrugged in 1957. It tells the tale of a declining United States of America. Excessive government interference in the economy has caused chaos, as the best in society, the men of the mind, produce ever less and everyone else demands ever more. Apathy takes the place of enthusiasm. Disguised at first, but then increasingly blatant, socialism reigns. Eventually, the men of the mind exile themselves to a hidden valley and America crumbles. Rand thought government should be very limited. She wrote, the only proper functions of a government are the police to protect you from criminals, the army to protect you from foreign invaders, and the courts to protect your property and contracts from breach or fraud by others, to settle disputes by rational rules. She expands on this. Proper government is only a policeman and as such may resort to force only against those who start the use of force. The problem with this libertarian, very narrow idea of government is that such a government can only put right a small range of injustices and is unrealistic electorally. Modern electorates want unjust monopolies to be broken up, monstrous developments to be stopped by planning permission, and unacceptable transport links to be improved by compulsory purchase of land for roads, bridges, and rail tracks. Rand's government would ignore these problems. Rand rightly argued for a government that emphasizes property rights. She wrote the arbitrary seizure of the wealth and property of the men of the mind created poverty as it left them unmotivated and hence unproductive. Rand held that all governments in history have been parasites, criminals and cannibals who leached off of the dynamism of the men of the mind. Pre-modern regimes were led by mystics of spirit or religious fundamentalists and many modern regimes are led by mystics of muscle or socialists. Those regimes that leached too much collapsed. This crude view of history ignores many things including invasion, personality and natural disasters but does contain a core of truth. In conclusion, Rand argues for a very small government that emphasizes property rights because this best allows men of the mind and hence society to flourish. However, this type of state has only ever very imperfectly existed in laissez-faire Victorian times and it is doubtful it could exist today.